hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna be unboxing this limited edition cosmo party bundle that model one sent over to me as a gift and honestly at first i was not going to do a video on this at least not like right now but i figured you guys would love the unboxing so here I am, this is what the packaging looks like, it's super pretty, and my favorite color is purple, so I was super obsessed with it, it's so like shiny and reflective, it's just so gorgeous. Um, Here's the back, it has a little message on it, feel free to pause and read if you would like to. Yeah, I just absolutely love this packaging, it was so so adorable. So let's just go ahead and open this up so I can show you guys everything that it includes. So when I open up the top, here's what the inside looks like. Um, this is a super big box. I was trying to fit everything in frame, but this is what the top looks like. It says, thank you. Also another little message. And here's the look of the inside at what the bundle um, contains. And honestly, I was just like so obsessed with this packaging. Like look at the holographicness. I've, I just really love this packaging so much. Like you guys do not understand. So let's just go ahead and not waste any more time. Um, I did want to start small and work my way up. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is the Nubula Rubik's Cube Solid Cream Gel Polish. Once again, I absolutely love the packaging. I feel like you guys are going to hate me so much for saying how much I love this packaging. But honestly, like just how can you not love it? It's just so, so pretty. But yeah, I've been really loving the solid gel polish that Model Ones have been sending me. Um, the first thing in this package is a little manual and how to. I'm pretty sure we already know how to use it by now, but it's super helpful if you are new. Um, also in this kit, we get a mini brush. And I learn from my comments all the time. When I unboxed the Model 1's vinyl records, um, it also came with one of these little brushes. And someone told me that the back actually like caps onto the back of the brush that way it extends to like a full size brush and honestly I would have never knew that unless someone told me and I feel like it's more comfortable in your hand when it is longer so that's super convenient so now moving on to the actual solid cube packaging itself so this is what it looks like it's super compact and the inside of it looks super sleek I love it and so here I'm just peeling off the paper and this part is always so satisfying to just reveal these neatly placed like cubes like this is just so pretty these colors are so gorgeous and honestly I feel like we all are the same when it comes to these like we never actually want to use these and mess them up just because they are so pretty and also something very interesting so I was looking on the website and it says this color cube is equivalent to nine seven ml bottles I think that's so like crazy to even think about and also this color cube separately is $15.99 so let's just go ahead and move on to the next item so as you see i am just unboxing the gel polish and this is the six piece glitter waves gel polish collection from the cosmo collection um inside the package here we get a instruction manual and how to i'm pretty sure we already know how to apply the gel polish but like i said it's super helpful if you are a beginner the first thing in this package is a cat eye magnet it is dual sided um, and this is just to create like the effect and the gel polish. I will show you and demonstrate everything once I swatch them. So moving on to the gel polish, this is what they look like. It comes with six gel polishes and they are seven ml bottles. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love how it has like a see-through section. That way you can see exactly the color that you are getting. So that's super convenient. And also I like it because the sticker at the top is definitely not the same color as what's in the bottle. The sticker at the top is more of like a pinkish when the actual gel polish is a really pretty like tannish brown nude. And it's so pretty. I did want to go ahead and swatch them as I go so that way I didn't have to like circle back. So here is what the first color looks like. I just wanted to show you like in real speed just so that you can see how it applies the texture the creaminess to it like the smoothness it applies so good this is only one coat and it's just like super pigmented i really love this color here is the next color and i do apologize for my camera like not focusing i don't know what it was i think it was like the glitterness or like the reflectiveness in the background of the video i did try my best to cut out all of the parts that wasn't really focused so Hopefully it's not too annoying, but I am just going to go ahead and continue showing you the colors and swatching them. 
So going back to the cat eye gel magnet, um, this set of gel polishes does come with two cat eye effect gel polishes and this is one of them. I really love this color, like it's just so glittery and shimmery and straight out of the bottle it already looks like it has that galaxy effect to it. Um, but as you can see, as I am applying this, the base of the color actually looks purple with more of like a hint of gold glitter shimmery. But this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. And just to demonstrate how the magnet will work, I'm just going to like try a few things. And I am still learning myself on like how to actually use this magnet. I haven't mastered that perfect technique to use in these, but over the time... I feel like the circle side is more effective to me because it kind of pushes the gel polish like effect around like I don't know it's crazy you just have to work with it and do what looks best for you. So the next color here is another one of those cat eye gels and this one is a really pretty gold like it's so pigmented and I don't know how to explain it really but the gold in this color just looks really rich and like, I don't know, it's just super, super gorgeous. I really love this color. And once again, I am just gonna just try to do some of the effect. You can see this one a little bit. It's not as, like, bold as the other one. I have learned that these colors will show up a little bit better when you do add, like, a black background to them. You cure on some black gel polish before you go on with that color and do the effect. And just because I am just swatching them for now, I didn't do it just because I didn't want to waste too much time um but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and finish watching the last two colors we have a like really pretty deep purple kind of like a pretty plum color is super shiny and then this last color here is like a tannish like really pretty pearl pearlescent shimmery kind of tannish color this was absolutely one of my favorites like it was just so unique and it reminds me of silk and I actually did try to like do the magnet but it turns out it's not a cat eye effect gel polish so here are all of the colors swatched out side by side with only one coat the first two are just solid polishes the two in the middle are the cat eye effect gels and then the two at the end are just some glittery shimmeries. I love how you get a good variety in the set of gel polishes. And also sold separately, this gel polish is $24.99 on the Model One's website. And now moving on to the last item in this Cosmo Party bundle, you get a Galaxy Dust Dip Powder Kit. The unboxing and the swatches kind of took up a lot of time. So if you don't want to watch the full unboxing and swatches of this last dip powder set, feel free to just go ahead and skip to where I actually start the design. I'll place the timestamp right here on the screen if you don't want to watch it but if you do decide to stick around I would really appreciate it so inside this dip powder kit we get an instruction manual also we get a mini hand file and also two replacement brushes and also included is a dust brush and this is to remove all of the excess dip powder when you are applying it to your nails before going in with the next layer I love these brushes and they are really really soft so in this kit, you do get six powders and also two liquids. So the first liquid is a two-in-one base and top coat for the dip powder. It comes in a 15 ml um, bottle. I'm not really sure how to feel about using something I would use as a base coat, as a top coat. Um, it is a two-in-one base and top coat. I would probably only use this for like the base application. I would go in and use a glossy gel top coat. Just because I typically don't really like to use the top coats that come with dip powder sets because I feel like they are so like sticky. And then also we get the activator and the activator is just to harden all of the dip powder before you go into file. It just basically sets everything into place. If you do not use the activator when you go into file, some of the dip powder may come off like clumpy and stuff. So make sure that you go in and do the activator before you start to file your dip powder nails. Now taking a look at the jars of dip powder so these jars are 12 grams really small they are the mini size from model ones and um, we do have a number on the top this indicates what color it is um i love how they are individually wrapped i really really love that and i'm just going to go ahead and open them show you guys what all of the colors look like and then i will be swatching them in a few seconds one thing i love about this entire collection is that it gives very much like galaxy 
um like nudes i really love all of the browns and like the different colors of nudes i feel like these powders would be so pretty as like cover powders and like natural nail bed colors so for the third powder i did not know if this was going to be a clear or a white and even swatching it like i'm still not even sure and i'll show you why once i do swatch them but as for now i'm just gonna finish opening them and show you guys what they look like but also i did want to say that this color here was my absolute favorite from the dip powders it was like a really pretty shimmery color and i love anything with glitter so yeah that was my favorite and i'm just gonna go ahead and open up the rest of them So this is what all of the colors of dip powders look like. I really do love this selection of colors. Once again, I had to zoom in on my favorite. Um, I really do love this color collection. And again, this is everything that is included in the dip powder um, set. I'm just going to go ahead and use like some swatch sticks to swatch them. I am using the two in one base and top coat to swatch under the inside of the um, swatch sticks. I am only going to show one on camera because I did want to swatch them as dip powder and acrylic. And I know that these powders are not a two in one for the dip powder and acrylic, but I still wanted to try anyway because dip and acrylic powder is basically the same thing. Um, and also I did want to show you guys that I did add the activator because once you add the activator, it kind of lightens the color or it may turn the color darker or lighter. So I did want to add that just so that I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, and this is only one layer. It kind of looks streaky, but you can still tell like the actual color. And here it is outside in natural sunlight. Super pretty. I really love this selection of colors. And now I'm going to show another one, just one swatch on camera as swatching them as acrylic. I am using my not polished monomer and so far it seems to be working just fine. Like it was really buttery on the brush. One thing I did notice about swatching them as acrylics, like the pigment kind of was like really spotty and like i guess it was kind of like very sheer it's like the pigment just wouldn't really show as much and then again i was using small beads as well maybe that has something to do with it or maybe it's just not like supposed to be used as acrylic but just me experiencing i had to try it but so far like the first swatch it does not look bad at all i actually think it looks pretty good and then here are all of the swatches as acrylics so referring back to the white color white clear color i'm not really sure because when i swatched it as dip powder it did look a little bit more clear and then now here it kind of looks more white so i'm not sure if that is a white or a clear maybe it's just foggy i don't know but here are what the colors look like now i may be biased just because i love acrylic more but i do love how they look better as acrylic swatches they just look way more pigmented also i only did one coat of dip powders so maybe that has something to do with it but let me know what you think down below if you like them as dip powder or acrylic better so again i do apologize for the long unboxing um, so now let's go ahead and get into my nails. I've already applied my nail tips. These are the 3XL square tips from Crafts by Nine. I always mention these tips because they are my absolute favorite. I didn't show how I applied them and cut them just because I show that a lot in my videos. So I just wanted to go ahead and skip it. So going right into the nail design, I am going to be using one of those gel polishes using the cat eye um, magnet to do the effect so like I said they do show up a lot better with a black background so I am just starting off the design by applying my not polished black gel polish to just the tips of my nails and the reason I chose to use this one is just because it's like a lot sheer I didn't want anything like too too pigmented I just felt like this would be perfect maybe it does show up better with like a more pigmented background but I don't know that was my thought process for applying this so I am just going to do this to all of my tips and then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in the light. And after curing them I did decide to use this color. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. I do believe it is the first one that I showed. 
like that really like bronze metallic type one i'm just going to apply this color over the black gel polish going up just a little bit further because i am going to be doing an ombre over this so i didn't want like the black to be like really bowl where my natural nail stops and before i carry on the galaxy cat eye gel i do go ahead and use the magnet to create like a design like i said i haven't really mastered like a really good technique of doing this my favorite type of like design to do with this is like a swirl i'm not really sure how to explain it but you can see what i'm doing on the nails and then once i get that desired design i do just go ahead and cure for 30 seconds and move on to the next one and like i said earlier you do just have to work with it and do like what works best for you because i know for me the circle side works a little bit better than the rectangle side the circle side as you can see it just pushed the pigment where i want it to go and even sometimes like here it kind of like moves like removes some of the effect so it kind of confuses me i know the rectangle side for me just completely removes it so i try to avoid using that one um if you have any good techniques please let me know down below in the comments and i had to slow it down just a little bit right here so here's a good example of what i meant like the rectangle side just completely removes it and then the circle side just kind of brought some of it back but it wasn't enough as like when I first applied it. So I did go back over it with the gel polish, add more of that pigment, and then just kind of work to get that desired look. The good thing about these cat eye magnets is that they don't have to be the same on each nail. I feel like them all being different just kind of gives it like a little bit more unique style. So yeah, just work with it, be patient, um, just do what works best for you, and just have fun with it. I know I had fun trying to do this. Once I was done, I really did like the results. And so here's what all of the nails look like once I finish doing the cat eye effect. And it looks so cool already. Like it just looks so much like a galaxy. Of course I did my thumb off camera. I do my thumb for a reel. Sometimes I post it. Sometimes I don't because I forget to. I have so many things unedited in my phone. But for the next part, I am just going to bend and twist the rules a little bit. So I did decide to use this dip powder as an acrylic just because I thought it would look really pretty as the ombre. And this color actually matches like the effect of the cat eye gel so perfectly. I'm so glad that I used this. And as you can see, I'm having no problems using it as an acrylic powder. I honestly wish they were two in one because honestly, I would use it as acrylic all the time. And I would probably use these a lot more just because I'm not really like, a big big fan of dip powder even though i have tried it on my channel i'm getting a little bit better at it i just i don't know like i just love acrylic more because i feel like i can do more with acrylic and my dip powder application don't really come out as smooth as i want it to so it's something that i have to work with a little bit more so for now i'm just going to be using these as acrylic powder and i'm just going to be ombreing them down using really small beads like i really enjoyed this process it was super fast and super easy and these colors were just so buttery just blending into each other this was honestly one of my favorite parts of doing this entire video so i'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this application so if you have made it up to here thank you so much for being with me and sticking with me to this part of the video um if you haven't liked the video already make sure that you go ahead and do so if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and if you are new go ahead and make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment that's saying i'm new that way i can personally welcome you to the channel
So as I finish up these last few nails, I did just want to show you guys and let you in on something that I just discovered. So I was on the Model Ones website and I was looking at the Cosmo collection, trying to look at the price so I can show you guys. Seeing the price of the bundle actually made me want to do this, but I added each individual item in my cart separately. And as you can see, the Nubia Love Rubik's Cube is $15.99. The Glitter Waves Gel Polish set is $24.99. And the Galaxy Does 12 Piece Dip Powder Kit is $29. $9.99 which comes to a total of $70.97 which also if you use my discount code which is key10 it will save you 10% off your entire order which brings the total down to $63.87 so yeah nothing is wrong with that it seems fun but when you go to the actual bundle like the Cosmo Party bundle the bundle is $99.99 like what am I missing here like I actually went to like scroll down to see if the like the items include anything more but no it's the same you only get these three items that I show in the video I'm so confused as to why the bundle is literally a hundred dollars when you can add each individually item to your cart separately and is cheaper like that doesn't add up to me and also with my discount code for the bundle it knocks off ten dollars so it's $89.99 which is still higher than the actual item separately I'm so confused as to why model ones did that maybe because they are like promoting this as like a limited edition and usually people People would just go for the bundle just because like you know bundles are better but maybe they thought no one would ever like check that but I'm so glad I did because for whoever wants this bundle I highly suggest you just add all three of these items to your cart separately and I don't even know if they wanted me to like mention this to you guys I'm not sure either way I do not care because honestly that is a complete ripoff like you are getting these same items for different prices and I don't think that's right so if you are interested in getting this bundle I do say you just add all of the items to your cart separately but just in case like I am missing something and you went to the website to like check it out please let me know because honestly like I don't know why they did that but like I said these items are limited edition and once they go away you will not be able to purchase them so if you are interested make sure to go ahead and use my discount code to knock off a little bit more money and you will get free shipping because the order is over $45 I will leave the model ones website down below in the description box so make sure to go ahead and check that out but as I was talking about that I did go ahead and encapsulate my nails and file off camera but I did just want to show you I did come into a little problem while I was filing one of my nails like around the cuticle area some of the product came off in a chunk because I did use these dip powders as acrylic and I kind of had some like speculation that I may have this problem but I didn't really worry too much because I still was going to encapsulate but since I did build up the nail a little bit more with the actual color um, once I started to like file and debulk and smooth everything out, I kind of filed away the clear layer, which left me to like that actual like colored powder but since I did use them as acrylic powder product didn't really set properly and it came off in like a gooey chunk it wasn't like still wet gooey it was just like it had like a rubbery texture to it and so once I was done like with my basic filing I did go back in and just kind of fill that in I added more powder to like areas where I had like dips in the nail once I did go in and apply more powder I did just go in around my cuticle areas and all over that powder just to kind of seal it in with the activator just to see if that would actually help and I actually ended up waiting for about two minutes to let it sit and I actually had that problem like two or three more times so my recommendation is to not use this as acrylic powder unless you are doing like a serious encapsulation or anything like that because this powder will not harden properly as it should but since I am just doing this for content it didn't really matter to me but I was kind of getting frustrated at that process since I did have to do it so many times over and over again so for the last time, I just made sure I was really, really careful and here's what the nails look like. And then I also make sure to buff over the nails. Once I did that, um, I did just apply like a top coat to my thumb so I can like see those colors coming through. Um, I did want to add a border to this nail. Um, and by the way, I did not create this design. I will pop up a picture right here from the inspo. Um, but as you can see, like the two colors from Not Polish, these are reflective polishes from Not Polish. And as you can see, both of the colors match so perfectly. The lighter color matches the cat eye effect and the darker color matches more of like the background. And both of these are so pretty, but I went with the lighter color just because I wanted that to like pop a little bit more. So taking that lighter reflective gel and a liner brush, I'm just going to outline like the border of my nails just around the sides and the free edge. And I'm going to do this over all of my nails and 
when I tell you guys I love the way these nails turn out like they are just so pretty and I cannot wait to show you guys what the finished set looks like but for now I am just gonna let you guys enjoy this process of me adding on the borders of this reflective gel also if you are interested in these reflective gels from not polish I do have a discount code which is key that you can use on their website And after I cured on my reflective border to all of the nails, I am going to go over it with a top coat. This is the glossy top coat from Not Polish. And I'm also going to be using these gold rhinestones that never match with anything. Anytime I use these rhinestones, they never match the actual gold that I'm using. But for this set, I thought it would be perfect. So once I applied the top coat, I'm not going to cure it just yet. I'm going to apply four rhinestones to the nails, just kind of spacing them out to give it a little bit more of like a galaxy star effect to it and these rhinestones went so perfectly with these colors i absolutely loved it once again i cannot wait to show you guys how the nails look once i finish and i'm just gonna let this part finish playing out because i am just applying the rhinestones And here I am just adding a little bit of cuticle oil to re-nourish my cuticles. Make sure that you never forget to apply cuticle oil after you finish your nails. And then once I finish rubbing that in, here's are what the nails look like once I finish. These are just so, so pretty. I cannot believe like they turn out like this. I really love the cat eye effect. And honestly, I just think these colors match so perfectly together. I really love that color I use for my ombre. And even though that color powder gave me some troubles with keeping it around my cuticle area i'm so glad that i had to go through that because the outcome made it even better and i just love when that happens with my nails i could be struggling so much but the outcome come out so beautiful and i'm just like i'm so glad that i kept going i feel like i've done that with a lot of my nails so yeah just keep going keep pushing and never let mistakes get you down 
so yeah um here's what the nails look like like i said i did add a reflective gel and like the polishes the cat eye effect here's an up close shot of them but wait until i turn off the lights and turn on the flash like look at these nails y'all these nails are so freaking beautiful like honestly i love these so much more in the flash like just look at the cat eye effect come to life that glitter polish around my um borders of the nails like it's just so pretty it's so stunning i absolutely love it and honestly even though i did apply like a peel off base to these nails i did not want to take them off um i actually kept them on for like a day or two after but my thumb popped off while i was washing dishes um, but yeah, this is how they look. I'm so obsessed with these and I hope you guys are too. And I also think these are just so cool because they have a black bottom because that base color I added, it's just so cool to see. And look at those rhinestones just like sparkle. Like I'm so, so, so obsessed with these and I'm so glad how they turn out. If you are interested in getting this limited edition Cosmo Party collection from Model 1s, make sure that you add them in your cart individually and not get the bundle. But yeah, I will leave my discount codes for everything that I use down below and let me know what you guys think about this set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.